The vibration is the most important thing you need to make sound, and on all musical instruments, something has to vibrate. My usual thing with the kids, that, I, that because I want kids to feel what vibration feels like, is to take your hand, everybody, put your hand on your throat, and everyone please say the words, sound is vibration. Sound, sound is vibration. What's vibrating inside your throat, everybody? Vocal, vocal, vocal cords. cords. Take your hand, everyone, once again, put your hand on your throat, and this time say vocal cords. Vocal cords. Right, and the reason I do this twice is because if you do it just once, then the, 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 the kids do it, they go, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> So, but if you do it twice, it sort of it ties up a nice little neat thing and moves on from there. So, as I said, on all musical instruments, something has to vibrate. What's going to vibrate on this instrument, everyone? The pieces of wood. wood. And you all know what this is called. It's called a xylophone. Now, you all, as music teachers, all know that xylophones are pretty expensive. Those dwarf xylophones, 600. 800, 1,000 for the big ones. How much do you think this one cost me? Nothing. Nothing. Zero, because I built it out of a drawer. This is an old desk drawer. Our neighbor threw this away. I took it and I did two important things. Number one, what did I do, everybody? Take it up, take it Cleaned it. Parents here? Okay, yeah, cleaned it, exactly. The first thing you do is you clean it. Exactly. And then the second thing that I did is I put some foam rubber along the sides. The foam rubber is very soft and spongy, so it lets the pieces of wood do what, everybody? Vibrate. Vibrate, Vibrate. exactly. Vibrate. Now, where I get the foam rubber from is old sofa cushions. Yep. You take the foam rubber and you take something like a, like a stick, not a stick knife, but a bread knife, and you can cut the foam rubber very easily with a bread knife and make strips of foam rubber like that. Let's see what it sounds like. Sounds or different sounds? Different, 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 sounds. Sounds. different sounds. And by the way, these pieces of wood, these are from mattress slats. Yeah. These hold up a mattress oh, from, from right. a bed, something like that. And the reason I use these like this is because I want to get uniform sounds from them. Because if you have different kinds of piece of wood, they're going to make different kinds of sounds, even if they're the same length. Thicker things, things that are denser, are going to make higher pitches. Things that are less dense are going to make lower pitches. So for example, if you have uh, wood like elm, or something that's uh, very hard wood, that's going to make a higher pitch. Spruce, maple, something like that, which is less dense, is going to make a lower pitch. So I use the same kind of wood so I can be able to have longer and shorter things because I want to get them the idea that different pitches are different sizes. Now, which one made the low pitch? The long one or the short one? Long. The long one. And this works with all musical instruments, including <coughs> my pipes. Now, I've got three different pipes here. Each one's going to make a different pitch. Which one's going to make the low pitch, everybody? Oh. Long one. Let's put it on top of the styrofoam and test it out. Here we go. Because with Bash the Trash, we have to test everything out. Ready? That's long, medium, short. Hey! Oh. That was a little late. Come on. <laughs> Positions, you should be on top of it. Oh. There we go. Okay. So. We've taken a look now at what I call the members of the percussion family. That is instruments that you can shake, scrape, or strike. And Martine is going to demonstrate one of our incredible, amazing percussion instruments. Martine, what do you have for us? Well, what, you, what is this? Oh, How dare you call it a coffee can? <laughs> I mean, it used to be a coffee can. Uh -huh. But John has taught me, and uh, not teaching you all, to look at things not for what they are, but for what they can be. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so percussion is one of those instruments that you can do three things to it. If you can shake it, it's a percussion instrument. If I can shake it, I can shake it. I can shake it. Ooh, I can shake it really fast. This is my song. <laughs> so the first thing you can do to a percussion instrument is you can shake it. I can strike it, I can strike it, I can strike it, I can strike it really loud! And the third thing, the third thing you can do is, I can scrape it, I can scrape it, I can scrape it, I can scrape it, I can scrape it. really fast. Or really slow. And if I practice good enough, I can maybe do the three things at the same time.
the point that, that, that uh, you can show with a coffee can scraper like this is this idea of that sometimes it's more than just the can that's vibrating as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this chopstick and I'm going to scrape it up and down a little bit. And I'm just going to scrape it with the very tip of the chopstick. Now, if I move the chopstick, you hear the difference? What's going on is that the chopstick is also vibrating too. And when I have it here, only a little bit of the chopstick is vibrating. But the more that I push it down here, the more the chopstick is vibrating, and that's what's changing the pitch of it. So when I slide it back and forth like this, it's actually changing the pitch as it goes. So another cool demonstration of this concept of pitch. Okay, let's take a look now at, at uh, let's see, I looked on the percussion instruments. Let's take a look now.